Hey guys, thanks for coming to see my video today. Today I'm just doing a quick video on these Gattacat organizing pouches. Um, a lot of people ask about pouches that they put in diaper bags and I haven't seen these reviewed very often. So I'm gonna be reviewing these. I have had these bags for coming up on three years and they have held up awesome. They're my favorite. They fit in all of my bags. Some I don't use all of them, some I do. So some form of these pouch fits in all of my diaper bags. So I wanted to do a quick review for you today. Now, since I have had this for so long, they have come out with a little bit of an upgraded version. The only difference they have in the upgraded version is that this wet bag has an extra pocket. So they keep an extra pocket outside on the wet bag. So let's talk about these for just a second. So there's five bags that comes in this set. Five of these bags. It comes with this with a bunch of hooks on it that you can connect to all the bags to keep them together and this that you can put on a stroller or uh, something like that if you want to hang them off of a stroller um, and it also comes with a crossbody strap that connects each bag has d-rings on the side so you can turn any bag into a crossbody bag or you could hang them off of your stroller that way as well i don't have mine anymore when i got mine it was like a, a metal chain that you could connect to both sides to use um, and I didn't keep it because I've never used it that way. Now, the newer version comes with a material that's a little closer to this. So any of these bags can turn into a crossbody bag. You can connect them all and keep them close together if you want in your diaper bags or hang them off the strollers. Um, it comes in two prints. They have the black and white zigzag still, and then they have one called Harbor where it's gray and white stripes. So those are your two options. There's five bags. Four are mesh, and one is the wet dry bag that is solid. Right here, the wet dry bag, it's great. Um, and then they start, this one is seven across and 11 high, and then it goes all the way to 11 by 11. So 11 by 11 is actually the last three bags. The last three bags is 11 by 11. So you have the mesh one, you have the wet bag, and then you have the large mesh. Now the thing that makes this large is on the side, and I don't know if you can see that, but this bag on the side can actually go pretty wide on the bottom. Um, whereas this one and all the other ones are don't have any kind of widening at the bottom, it's just flat. So I love these bags because they pack really flat and I'm able to fit them. I originally got them for my Fawn design bag. Um, because if you know about the fawn and dimensions, it's um, 13 wide. And so the 11 wide fits perfect inside and they stacked great so my bag didn't become a black hole. But I've used these in all of my bags. So I'm gonna pack these up and then I will show you what I put in them usually and then how some of them fit into all of my bags. All right guys, I have packed them all up with things that I would usually put in them. It's not exactly how I would do it for each bag. And like I said, I use them all for each bag differently. Um, but I'll just show you the general and then we'll get packing them into some of the bags. So the first thing is I keep the wet bag empty. And I fold it up. This is so flat. It fits into any pocket, bottom of the bag, so easy. And it's nice to always have a wet bag in your bag somewhere. So this one can fit in anything. I just keep it empty. Um, we'll start biggest. This is where I keep all of my diapering needs. I am an overpacker when it comes to diapering needs. I get really nervous if I don't think I have enough diapers. So right now I have a two year old in diapers and I have a six month old in diapers. So this right now is holding three diapers for each of them. So I have three size four and three size three. My six month old's a giant and my, my uh, two year old's a, a midget. So they're, they're coming up on the same size. I keep a really full pack of wipes. Uh, at the bottom I have one of those baggies that uh, like the Arm & Hauer baggies and then I have a big tube of diaper cream in here. And as you see, because it gets wider on the bottom, it can hold all of that in there really well. Um, I have tried to use different clutches. I tried the Fawn clutch, I've tried a couple of them, and they just don't fit near as much as this. And since it packs like vertically versus wide, it just, it fits into bags easily. So I'm gonna be showing you that. This one goes in all of my bags no matter what. I always find bags that at least have an 11 by 11 that I can stick this into. All right, so there's that one. The next one is a change of clothes. 
Um, right now, this is just a full outfit for my three-year-old. Um, so I have jean shorts, underwear, socks, and a t-shirt. I have been able to put something in here for all of my kids. So I'll keep a onesie for my six-month-old, um, a shirt and shorts for my two-year-old, and then this for my um, three-year-old. And it fits pretty great. Um, and because it's clothing, it's pretty tight. Not too thick. Kind of can see everything. Love these. I will say the reason I got these is because they had mesh. Um, my husband, whenever I had my bag, used to be very frustrated when I asked him to grab something. Can you grab the wipes? Can you grab a toy? Can you grab a snack? And I had all these bags in there and he had no clue which bag had what in it. He, out of frustration a couple times, ended up just dumping out my bag saying, I can't find anything. And I said, okay, we need to fix this. And that's where these bags came in. I've never looked back. Love these. All right, so change your clothes. Um, then we have this one, snacks. You can fit a lot of snacks in here, especially if you really use the vertical packing method. But right now I have granola bars, fruit snacks, veggie straws, and some little candies. But you can fit a lot more in there. Applesauce pouches go great in here. Um, all those things. And then in the small one is where I just keep little toys for my um, six month old and in the back is a play pack for my other two. I'm not big into taking a ton of activities because we're usually doing something. I'm, I'm more into taking snacks than I am activities, but you can definitely switch the bags. Um, that's another thing I like about these. I looked into the sugar snap bags and on the sugar snaps they have a label on each one that tells you what it's for. I don't like being told what I'm supposed to put in my pouches. So, honestly that's why I picked these. They don't have anything telling you what you need to put in them. So I've definitely switched things up. So if I'm going on a trip and I need more activities, I switch it to this bag or even the bigger bag for activities. Um, and I use this for snacks sometimes. So it just depends what you need it for. And I love that there's so many different sizes. All right, we're gonna switch into fitting some of these into the bags. I'm gonna say the first one, which is obvious. Um, This is my husband's backpack. I highly suggest these bags if you are just using a normal backpack as your everyday, don't want to get it gross, doesn't matter if you throw it around kind of thing. Um, on a certain trip, I tried using this when my first was little. We tried using this on a trip. And it doesn't have any inner organization. Um, and I lost everything in this bag. So these are great. Let's see what we can fit into this main compartment. This one's a must. The diapers and wipes. We'll just slip it right in there. To be honest, I usually keep this in my car. I slide it in one of the back pockets um, or I stick it under one of the seats. So I always have a change of clothes for all of my kids. But if I'm going on a big trip or like a theme park or something, I keep it with me. So we're just gonna put it in. Um, in here, right on top, easy peasy, snacks. Right on top of there and toys. As you can see, they all fit great right inside. I know it's kind of black on black, but they all fit perfect. They slide inside. Instant organization. It's great. Um, I find these extremely useful for backpacks and totes um, because sometimes totes don't have a ton of organization. So there's one bag down. Now let's stick it into my original OG Stone Gray Vaughn. Um, stand up for a second. So as I said, the Fawn is 13 across, so it fits perfectly inside. We'll see how many I can fit. I am a pouch packer versus using all of the pockets, especially in the Fawn because of the thick material on the inside. I don't tend to use them as much. All right, here's my Fawn. They fit perfect, and honestly, I can still access all of the pockets. They don't go over the top. They fit great. I love these. And depending on how full you pack them is how you'll be able to access all the pockets. But as I pack these, I can reach all the pockets and I can put more things in it. So all those black coal bags, great for those. Okay. Let's look at my Newly Sophia. I do not use all of these bags in my Newly Sophia. I tend to use more of the pockets in this bag. But, as usual, I always keep my diapers and wipes. 
So in this bag, there is a big slip pocket on the inside. Let's see if I can show you right here. And I just slip it on in. Slips in great. And then this one has a little strap that goes across the top. It doesn't reach over the top of my bag when I zip it up, and it's right there inside. Um, usually, if I need to, I slip in the change of clothes right behind it. I put the toys right here in the bottom. And in this bag, I put my snacks in this insulated pocket. So, I haven't been putting this in, but obviously, it fits in everywhere. So, always have this, it fits in every bag. So, that was four of the five bags in my Newly Sophia bag. And last but not least, I have my bag I'm currently using, my MF Store bag. The MF Store bag is um, a little different than the Fawn because it's narrower. Um, so, things do fit, but I cannot fit all of mine in here. So. My wipes go in just fine. And then I'll put my change of clothes. Um, these probably won't fit great and I'll stick in my toys. So that's a tight fit, but I'm still able to reach all of the pockets and I can just put my snacks in this big pocket right here. So that's, that's uh, and then of course, wet bag just fits right in. So that's all of my current bags that I use. Um, like I said, I am able to use these bags in every diaper bag I've gotten so far. It's great for travel because you can throw these um, in a stroller. You can hook them up like this, keep them all together in the bottom of your stroller and just pull it out. Um, I love having my diapering needs in this. I only take this inside changing at a gas station, changing at a theme park. I never have to take my bag with me. Love this. Um, so that is my quick little review on the Gattacat organizing pouches. Like I said, I will link it down below. Um, and I think more people should use these. I'm a huge fan. They fit into a ton of different bags. I love the mesh so you can see everything. I love that it comes with a wet bag. Um, I love that they can be connected and you can get a crossbody strap as well. I just, overall, they've held up great. Like I said, I've almost, almost had these for three years and I still use them every single day. So that is my review and I hope you guys come back for the next video. Thank you.